Welcome to this short video on building the Vospa and S boats from the upcoming Crawl Seas game by Warlord Games. War Games Illustrated magazine recently came with a free plastic sprue for either the British or the German fleet. First up is the British Vospas. Warlord have helpfully produced a guide to what each part is on the sprue, so let's get building. I'm using a standard plastic cement for this part. In terms of the weapons, the Mark I has the heavy machine gun fitted at the stern and an optional single 20mm fitted on the forecastle whereas the Mark II has a twin 20mm on the forecastle. I wasn't keen on the size of the masts for the Vospers. No doubt they've been designed to be robust, but they look out of scale, so I made two smaller versions with copper wire. My choice, the one on the right-hand side, is a 0.8mm and 0.5mm copper wire. Fitting was just a case of drilling a smaller hole in the socket and using a dab of superglue to hold it in place, and there you have a pair of Vospers ready for painting. Next up are the S-boats. The guide is essential to identify the various weapons, noting that part 7 is actually the crew for the 37mm flat gun. Fitting the bridge is straightforward, but working out which weapon goes where is not as obvious. There are early and late war variants, but the standard fit for Cruel Seas for the S100 is a single 20mm at the forecastle, a twin 20mm midships, and a quad 20mm at the stern. For the S38 it's a 20mm at the forecastle, and a 37mm at the stern. The parts go together easily, but the fitting of the 37mm crew can be a bit fiddly and needs to be done before you attach the gun to the boat. These two photos show the finished gun. Viewed from above, the crew piece is shaped like a letter U. It fits beneath the gun with the open end of the U pointing backwards away from the barrel. There's a little tab at the bottom of the U shape and that sits up neatly between the shield and the gun mount. Unlike the Vospers, the torpedoes sit directly on the deck of the S boats. I customised one of the torpedoes on the S38 by cutting off the front and mounting it as if it's being loaded into the tube. Add the final torpedoes and the Germans have two S-boats ready to join their fleet. 